Hey all, Trisha Curtis, you have Pets and Roots and host of the Pets and Roots podcast. It is Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. It is Groundhog Day. The Fed raised rates yesterday. Uh, the European Central Bank and other central banks also raised rates slightly as well. We only had a quarter point increase from the Fed. Now there's a lot going on with that. So right now we are seeing WTI, it's coming off its um, it's coming off its recent highs where we clawed back a little bit over this past couple weeks, but we're at 75.88, so we're below 76 bucks for WTI right now. We're 82.15 for Brent, and we are, uh, natural gas is just getting hammered. It's at 246 right now. Now, there's a, a number of stuff going on with natural gas. I think a lot, you know, the, the high production is one of those. We're, we're producing over 122 billion cubic feet per day of natural gas. That is a quarter of the world's supply and demand of natural gas. So it's a lot. Now, on the crude side, we did have, yesterday was Wednesday, we had crude inventories come out. Now, crude inventory, the build was higher than expected. Um, we are lower on products, but we're, we're lower than we should be for the five-year average, and we're but we're higher on propane. So there's a lot going on with that. Now, back to the Fed. So Fed raises rates. Market interprets this as bullish. Um, if you were listening to, uh, before Jerome Powell spoke, um, the chief economist, Diane Swank, she's a great, uh, with the KPMG, great person to follow. And see, she made some really interesting commentary that um, that I reiterate a lot in my podcasts and presentations to clients as well. It's talking about the Fed needing to hold rates longer. So raising rates and then holding it all of 2023 and perhaps all of 2024 as well. Something the market's really not probably appreciating. She's also, previous to her role at KPMG, she was the one talking a lot about how unemployment's going to have to rise. And that's something the Fed is pretty uncomfortable talking about is unemployment is, is going to have to rise. Um, so they think they're going to be able to like weave this in just fine. They think they're going to have a, um, where we have lots of job openings. Uh, so that was mentioned before as well. We have 1.9, we're now back at our basically record job openings, 1.9 job openings per one applicant. We're back there. That was uh, as of December. You're hearing that in the UK where you have major problems on filling jobs as well. And so the problem we have with that is the wage price viral that we are, the cost of employing somebody costs more. We're not getting people to fill the jobs and our productivity is actually going down. These are really serious economic issues that the Fed really didn't talk to. So I think the market's gotten ahead of itself. Um, we are definitely seeing pressure on oil prices. There's a lot of questions going on within China that and that China story and the opening was what's helped propel the oil price story upward. Um, and lastly, I'll just say, you know, a two, the last two podcasts are really, really good. Please take a listen to them. Um, so the last podcast is the talk I gave in Pittsburgh just a couple weeks ago in Cranberry, Pennsylvania. It is a soup to nuts, everything going on in the U.S. Uh, US production, what's going on in the Appalachian Basin, what's going on in the shale space, why 2022 was very different, why high gas prices actually mattered, um, what's happening on ESG, what, what's going on with China. It is a differentiated take on ESG. It is soup to nuts, and it's really quite good. The previous podcast is a very short 15-minute rundown of everything U.S. shale. It is the talk I gave at Oxford University um, in December. So really hope you guys take a listen. Really look forward to the next podcast. And I will be at the Denver Petroleum Club at um, Oventive at their office at 7.30 a.m. on Thursday, February 9th. Sign up with the Denver Petroleum Club. This is going to be a fantastic talk. It's going to be super fun. Hope to see you there. Bye, guys.